Okay, so it's been a uh, little while since I've posted and uh, I have been doing videos and I haven't missed a day of exercise since, but as all things, life uh, likes to throw you a couple curve balls and uh, so we're originally gonna talk about some of them, but I just couldn't post it. So where am I at right now? Uh, a couple weeks ago, I had the uh, CT scan just to make sure um, you know blood clot hadn't moved I was just worried about the uh, you know heavy or breathing and doctor didn't necessarily attribute it to Xeralto so anyway sent me for the CT scan and uh, as far as blood clots are concerned the blood clot is gone which I'm very thankful for still have to be on the medication for another uh, couple weeks just to finish it through but uh, blood clot is a thing of the past. Now, the uh, CT scan came back with uh, abnormal readings um, in my lungs, uh, on my liver, and uh, I guess, um, uh, I forget what it's called, like the lymph node or something like that, in the chest. So. What does that mean? More tests and more waiting and uh, yeah, so that's kind of uh, where I'm at. But at least here in Canada, I mean, I'm getting these tests pretty quick. I know you hear the horror stories about people waiting, you know, eight to 10 months for CT scans and all that sort of thing. But the doctor, doctor feels you need it. You generally get it in, uh, rapid su succession so um that's positive we have another follow-up CT, ct scan here shortly and uh hopefully get some positive uh positive news i was originally thinking maybe it was like uh you know maybe i had coronavirus and didn't know it or something along those lines but uh yeah i guess that's not the case so um just got to uh look forward to uh getting on with my life and uh, not uh, worrying about things that are, you know, outside of my control. And uh, talking about control, I've jumped back on uh, keto. I've been on it for, I guess, three days now, going through those like serious sugar withdrawals, reminding me all the reasons why uh, keto is both positive and negative. Um, negative because really the diet kind of sucks. I end up cycloning down to just a couple basic food groups that uh, aren't sustainable long term but this time around I'm going to try and broaden my horizons and uh, get a few more vegetables and uh, different methods of cooking into the mix. Um, but uh, it's everybody I think should whether you have weight issues or not really try going a week without sugar even just a few days it's just it's incredible it's like it's white it's like having withdrawal system, symptoms from a drug it's it's hard to explain but uh the amount of like water weight you immediately start to lose um just the overall overall brain fog it's uh yeah, it's quite the thing to try. So um, that's pretty much it for updates today. I will hopefully continue to not just create these videos, but <laughs> post them as uh, the next few weeks and months go by. So thanks for watching and subscribe if you like. <laughs>